Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting mission of PN03. You got a brand new suit, but same guest from before. Hey Jay. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's just a lovely, lovely day when you're playing PN03. Oh, isn't it just? Uh, but at least we have a boss this time. Yes, the the aforementioned Mr. Giraffe. Oh, look at the look at his yeah. He's a giraffe. Apparently, but, uh... Also a sunflower, which makes him a very unhappy beastie. No wonder he's a boss. Yeah, but, uh... God, this room looks familiar. Yeah, it's probably gonna look even more familiar as the game goes by. Yeah, but we do, we do get uh, a brand new skin, a brand new suit. Which uh, is almost literally a skin. To some degree, it's all very, uh... Creamy. Skin type, yeah. <laughs> also, they they assault us yet again with even more information that really is not useful in the least. Because even though even though we were told about uh, these mushroom shaped floaters, uh, it actually didn't tell us that we are now going to be facing upgraded versions of enemies we've already faced. So uh, so these particular guys, even though they may seem the exact same, well they have the same attack wise, they actually do have a Pretty much double health. Speaking of which, um, I actually made a couple of misidentifications, so yeah, we're, we're just going to be going with the silly names because it is actually kind of hard to tell what's what. A lot of them are so similar, and to confuse the matter, the upgraded versions only have a suffix after their name. Yeah, I think these guys ended up becoming M's uh, as opposed to P's. Uh, it, in the end, it doesn't matter because they explode and they hurt my finger because I'm really having a match on this fucking palm shot. Hey, at least you might get auto fire soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, that will actually be that will be the next mission, thankfully. Even though we'll find out what problem that has. I can imagine. But, but other, otherwise, we we do get a few uh, new rooms. This particular one is. An obscenely long corridor with many twists and turns. I guess I guess I should also explain a little bit more. Uh, I vaguely mentioned about the trial missions earlier. Um, whenever you finish a new mission, the trial missions will actually uh, get put into their rotation, whatever new rooms you run across. So when they do get randomized rooms, this particular room will actually be put into that randomization, which as we will be seeing by the size of it, can actually be very detrimental because this room has a lot of enemies and those enemies are mostly going to be a pain when you're trying to conserve energy drives or just health. But Speaking of energy drives, we had a new one there. Yeah, we... You, uh, you, you did look at the name of these because you are your Mr. Information. Well, sort of. Um, that's the... The, the ricocheting one? Yeah, that's this the one's har a Harrier. And it's one of the best ones in the game. Not the best, but one of. Yeah. It, like, the, the ricochets do a tremendous amount of damage, and they will last for quite a bit of time. And in something like this particular room, if I did decide to use it, the ricochets would just completely tear apart these two enemies. Unfortunately, it doesn't upgrade too well. There is an upgrade, but it just means stronger attacks. Yeah, and by that point, uh, we should have access to even better energy drive. So it's it's good for the start of the game. It does kind of lose its potential over time. So that's why I took a missile to the face in sadness. So but yeah, the the even even the missile guys they get a health upgrade, but. I don't know, that, that just means they can pull off their missiles before I destroy them. Yeah. Like, the fact that they don't really get any new attacks, they just get more health, is kind of a, a clear sign of really shallow game design. More health does not equal more difficulty. So. To be fair, by the end of the game we'll be seeing the epitome of shallow game design. Uh, yeah. I think since we're about on stage 3, uh, and everything looks the exact fucking same. I, th I think we... I think it's giving a, a pretty good inkling of that. Yeah. 
But for some reason, uh, we can't go through the front door, so we have to go through an upper hatch. Uh, if you're wondering if this has any effect on the game or if we have multiple choices, uh, no, it's just trying to give the illusion of it in failing. But Negroth, thou must go through the top door. I have to. I have to kill all the slimes yep. before I can continue. And I, I, I guess I, I should explain uh, the attack pattern of these guys. They're, they do, they do do damage quite a bit if they do hit you, as you can see. But they have a massive tell whenever they are about to shoot. Their eyes will go red, and they, they don't fire in like a, a wave. They'll just fire straight ahead where they're looking. Yeah. So they, they are incredibly easy to dodge. They also have like these weird laser mine or like laser trip mines or some shit, but they never become an issue in all honesty. Yeah. Much like uh, the these mushroom shaped floaters, the 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 lovely woman or voice that was talking to us. Uh, she said that they'll copy our combat data and send it ahead. What I, this actually means is they'll give enemies a shield if you let them live long enough. Really? Yeah. I. What? How is that sending combat data? She's going to shoot you. Put up a shield. I never would have thought that. <laughs> well, obviously they never would have thought that either. Yeah, I, I can see that being annoying, but I don't actually show it off, but their scanning ability really takes about two or three seconds, and they'll that's two or three seconds. They'll come up point blank to you, so... Really, if you don't destroy them, it's because you're awful at the game, so... Just what, awful what? at games. Yeah, it's a super small enemy that takes like two shots to take down and comes up right in front of you and comes to a complete stop. Good job. But, yeah, we are slowly making our way through this level. It is obviously larger than uh, level two, but not by a lot. No. Mostly, mostly it's only lengthened by the fact that the enemies just have way too much health. Now, one thing that isn't shown off here is that even though the duck move is pretty good for the machine guns, if you do it too early, they will track down. Yeah. Well, their their normal shots will track down, but whenever they do like the the semicircle barrage in front of them, that one that one as far as I've been able to tell never actually goes downward. But yeah, if uh, if you do just sit there and try to duck every shot, they will start to aim downwards and they will just pop you in the face. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's still more useful than the the twirly sidestep because uh, really, all too often, that will just get me hit by, like, the stream of bullets shot in front of me. Plus, an easier way to get rid of a stream of bullets is just to ricochet, be invincible, and murder everything. Yeah, probably, I don't know if it's very visible, but the Harrier move is actually relatively cheap in regards to energy drives. But we do have another energy drive. Ah, yes, the Falcon. Just like what a falcon would do. And it's nowhere I'm, near as good as a falcon punch. I, I know I've seen uh, falconers with their with their hooded falcons. They take off the hood. Immediately the falcon starts twirling around on their glove and just shreds their hand apart with their lasers. Just like what a falcon would do. Oh god. In this room those big fuck-off lasers that we saw next to the very dangerous core in the previous mission make yet another return, and yet again, they will kill you if they hit you, and they will hit you if you're not careful. Now, these enemies, now that I can see them up close, those are called, those are the walnuts. These are walnuts? Yeah, these are definitely walnuts, but fuck that, they're top hats. Yeah, they got top hats that poop out trip mines that are super useful and oh look there's two more so uh, let's spam Harrier because because this is actually really dangerous yeah and I should have I should have died there but hey invincibility frames it's uh it's how you play the game it pretty much does seem to be yeah 
I, I guess it is, it is good to point out that we are in yet another actual room as opposed to a corridor, so uh, the game really mixing it up. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. That's I mean, not gonna uh, last. Yeah, well, I don't know. The I, I think that the next mission will be massively different uh, for those that stick around. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, uh, for for your troubles, if you did happen to die in here, they are nice enough to give you a hidden away continue. I, as far as I can tell, that's pretty much what the game constitutes as a secret, so... Uh, I guess maybe I'll be going for a 100% secret run, or maybe I've already missed a continue. I'm sure the, the one rabid product 03, or product number 03 fan out there that's watching this will be like... Stop dodging into lasers. Why are you so awful? But, I don't know. Fuck them. I am getting a little bit better, though. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I haven't died, so there is that. And you're dodging a lot more machine gun fire, and... Yeah, I mean, just the sheer number of no damage rooms giving me all of the money. I mean, just look at how much money I have. I certainly didn't get that from failing and grinding in between videos. That's, uh... Yep, nothing to do with the fact trial rooms seem to give you more money for failure. Pretty much. But, uh, it... It does... It's, it's very indicative that that big number is barely enough for the purchases we need to make in the next update. Like, it's... It's barely enough to buy new stuff. That also, big -ass number. those barriers are meant to be useful cover. They're, they're more useful cover for the enemy. Yeah. And they will break. So, for enemies that have very strong shots, such as uh, the top hats here, they will actually rip through it pretty quickly. And also, arcing missiles, uh, they're not helpful at all. Because they preferred the item boxes. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we, we've seen like the little item crystals before. Uh, this is probably one of the first times where it becomes kind of an annoyance, where occasionally an energy drive will decide to focus in on it rather than the very obvious enemies that are shooting at me. Uh, but, you know, you, you gotta do, you gotta try your best just to get them out of the camera or, I don't know, waste your energy drives, like I'm doing. Well, you wasted one, the other one was sort of useful. Yeah, I really, like, for, for however amazing and awesome looking Falcon is, it does shit all damage. It's it's very useful for very particular instances. In those particular instances, it would still be better to use uh, Harrier. Even when it upgrades, it's only got longer range. Yeah, which is not how you would use it at all. No. But hey, look, a very empty, long, dark corridor. It's totally different from before. And also, it's totally not going to be a boss. Yeah, that's why they refilled us on everything. Mm. But we we do get another lovely view of Sunflower. And uh, savor that view because he is going to die very quickly. Extremely quickly. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would explain his moves, but they are... Uh, the machine gun's on his face, and then he'll shoot these lasers, but he's dead. Those ricochets bounce for four seconds at a time. Yeah, they they will pretty much murder any large... Like, when you take up 80% of the room, it's just going to be murder. But, thankfully, our client does inform us that there are new suits waiting for us, and we will be purchasing those. Yep. But with that, this update is over. Thanks for joining me yet again, Jay. Take care. See ya.